Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Um, today, uh, this is just a very quick video on how to use the measure tool in Navisworks. Um, if you are a complete beginner and need to know the ins and outs of how to use the software, uh, please go to my tutorial video, click the link um, and view that because that will go over the basics of views, how to turn parts of the model on and off. But this is just covering uh, the measurement video. And how to use the measure tool. Uh, so to do this I've opened up this very simple model of a gatehouse and I'm going to take some measurements off it. So to do that all you do is go up to the review uh, tab, click measure um, and then I'm going to click the two surfaces I'd like to measure against. So I'll click there to there. So now it's giving me um, this triangle. So because my two points aren't level on each surface um, the x uh, direction is the level so from that point to from this surface to this surface of linear dimension is 9.618 meters so I'm going to do the same again I'll do the same again from the floor to the roof so if you ever want to take another measurement go up to clear I'm going to click the roof to the base but same again I'm not going to get this perfectly in line so I'll just click anywhere and the Z direction is the actual dim I'm after. So it's 2.830 meters from there to there. So it's very simple to use. And if I just clear that off, so that's how you use the point to point measure tool. If you want to measure multiple points, so I'm going to just measure from, from this corner to here. And then from there to there so this is how you jump around um, and get multiple measurements quickly point line so this is a bit more complicated so if I wanted to measure around the foundation bit base all you'd have to do is I need to just make sure I click the points so I'm going to click that edge click this edge so when the X comes up that means you've got you're clicking on the point Zoom in so you can see it a bit better. So I'm clicking on that point there. So as I'm clicking round, it's adding up the distance. Let's go from there to there. If I can manage to click it, there we go. From there all the way back so it's 43 meters all the way around that slab so that's just to give you an idea it comes in handy if you need to make a slab measurement or measure some weirdly shaped geometry so i hope you found this little video helpful if you have please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching